Starting with the face, this really big muscle, which is basically kind of like the cheek, that's the superficial masseter. It's really big. And then when you get down to the center, you have the digastric. Now the way you tell it apart is it goes from the chin and then it goes down and then it forks like this. Kind of like a fish's tail. So I say fish tailed. So that's the digastric. Running along the center below the digastric, you have your stenohyoid. There's, and so there's two of them. And then if you separate them, you can actually see the trachea in the middle. Then you have the sternohyoid, which runs along the side like this. And then on the outside of the sternohyoid, you have the sterno, or sorry, sternohyoid is in the center, sternomastoid is on the side. And then this is the clitos uh, cervicalis. So sternohyoid, sternomastoid, clitocervicalis. Um, the clitocervicalis and the sternomastoid are parallel to each other. And then here you have the clitobrachialis, which is basically the shoulder muscles. And you have your pectoralis, which are in the center, these two very large muscles. Um, and then your cutaneous trunchi, which is basically the, the, cut, the muscle that you cut um, from the skin. It's always going to be under the armpit. And then down here you have your external obliques, this really large muscle. The line in the center is the linea alba. Um, and then your sternum is actually the bone underneath, right here in the center. So it's actually the bone, not the muscle. Um, on your diagram you also have clavicle labeled. Um, that's also the bone, which is basically right here. But um, you can't see it because it's bone, not muscle. So that's it for the ventral side.